uh, The Never Ever Mets. Okay, this show is something, all right? I'll say that, it's something. Now, the whole premise of this show is that these people are supposed to have never ever met, right? And they've been dating online. They met through online dating. So we already know we're three episodes in and we already know that Dom, Dominique and Alexis already knew each other. So who knows if there are any other couples on there that we that already knew each other. We don't know yet as far as I know, but I also haven't been keeping up with a lot of the goings on outside of filming. So y'all fill me in in the comments. If y'all know what's going on that I don't know, all I did was watch the episodes, all right? And oh, I did watch uh, the interview with um, Dominique and Alexis. I think they talked to Kamisha, they talked to Miss Monica, and I saw Dominique's interview with Kojo. And I just have to say, that interview, I went in thinking that, okay, I already thought it was going to be some BS because, like, him and Alexis were not really taking it as serious to, as it was. And so, I was like, I'm going to watch this interview just because, on the strength of Kojo, for real. And and that, that, was, that was just the honest truth. But I'm so glad I watched it because that was an example of how if somebody is open to having a conversation... That is an example of how the interviews could end up. There are so many other interviews that if they would have only just had the conversation, it would have ended up being great. But, you know, I think that the reason why this interview was so, so good um, is number one, um, you know, I don't think Dominique had any idea of Kojo, right? And that, that was great because he wasn't trying to, you know, he didn't know what to try to circumvent. So I like that. Um, I like that he was open. I thought he was playing in the beginning, but as it went on, I started to realize that he was actually like for real and serious with some of the stuff he was saying, but the interview was really good. And the end, uh, listen, if you haven't watched that interview, it's definitely worth taking a look, okay? But shout out to Kojo on that because that, that is why we follow you, sir. Okay, so the premise of the show is these people met online. They never ever met. They're going to come into this house and they're going to live together under one roof. They're going to have like these challenges and things like that. So Rhonda Jones, um, who was, was it Portia from Empire? She's like the voice of reason or whatever. So she comes in and let them know what's going to happen next and stuff like that. They have a boom, boom room. Well, they're not calling it a boom, boom room, but they're calling it an intimacy suite. I don't like that because it's like, first of all, if these people don't know each other, sex needs to be the last thing that they're thinking of. Okay. Because no, um, but I guess it makes it interesting. Apparently Shay and Josh have it on lock. There's that. Um, but let's talk about some of these, uh, <laughs> let's talk about some of these couples because we got Aaron and Joanna. Okay. So I don't know about this one. Like I actually like Joanna though, because she, you know, sometimes when they be having conversations, there was a conversation, uh, there was a conversation about failure. I like how she was talking. I like how she was talking. Right. So, but as far as her and Aaron together, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Shay and Josh, I feel like Shay and Josh is an actual real couple, right? But apparently Josh had a baby that wasn't by Shay two years ago because obviously they just met. I feel like their chemistry is real though. Like they seem like they really like each other for real. Um, Chris and Sandia, okay? So they are bickering already like, like they together. You know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like this might be a real one. Um, we already know Alexis and Dominique. They got put off because of their uh, altercation. The, the wild thing is that they already knew each other and they planned to come in here and spice it up. And it got, you know, it got real, right? <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, I don't know, like you can't play fight nobody, you know what I mean? And not to say that they planned to fight, but like they, they, weren't, they weren't together or anything. So they were just coming on to be on TV. Um, and 
thing I put off. But I feel like Alexis, at the end when they showed his video, um, when they showed his video from the hotel or whatever, I feel like she was genuinely hurt by the situation. So it's weird that now they're like, oh, it's fake and all of that. Like they don't realize how wild that situation was. And so, you know, I feel like even present day, um, they, they don't feel like, I wouldn't have come out and said that. I mean, I just would have just let it play out, right? Um, so anyway, um, so that's them. They are not on the show anymore. Has Alexis done an interview anywhere? I thought she was going to interview a Kamisha, but I did not see it. I got to go back and check. But y'all get in the comments below and let me know. Because like I said, I'm not really following the goings on outside of the what's on TV for this show. So I don't know. Um, but then we have Millie and Greg. They've been dating for three years. They kind of, I'm 50-50 on them. They could be real. But then it's the possibility that this could be one of those like plants as well or somebody that you know already knew each other as well so i don't know um then brandon is seeing it now brandon is over this all right i feel like brandon is like uh hell no nah. um seeing it and call this man out his name and that to me just says that she does not respect him because it's kind of like no going back after that you already let the word come out your mouth you do not respect that man so um, I don't know about that, but we shall see how it plays out. But, you know, when they, when the couples were mingling that first night, um, when they all first met or whatever, I was like, this is going to be a setup. Like, this is like, this is going to be a setup because now you're opening up for anybody to talk to anybody as far as have conversation. And just like I thought, that's what CNN ended up getting mad about that, uh, Brandon had a conversation with somebody else and people get a chance to in, like inject their inject their opinions on your private stuff and you just getting to process this stuff if this is like your first time meeting this person for real so so I don't know um, so what was interesting also talking about the interview with Dominique and Kojo Dominique said that he was on Kendra G and that is how he met Alexis. She DM'd him from being on that show. Now, if y'all don't know Kendra G, she actually just launched her app today. And I think today's her birthday. Um, but she launched the dating app. So shout out to her. Make sure y'all check that out if y'all are into that. But she DM'd him, which says a lot, right? Like, listen, I have my own stories about online dating. Um, and, you know, I just like to meet people in person. Uh over online dating because I'm not interested in talking to somebody for whatever amount of time just to meet you and we just don't vibe personally like personally we can catch each other's vibe immediately and be like oh we get you know we words don't even need to be spoken like sometimes in person like it just is what it is so I'm just like I don't like online dating I mean now I will say that Everybody that I've met from online dating hasn't been bad, but the experiences that have not been good have just been like, you know, you know, much more traumatic than, or much more, you know, I don't even want to say traumatic, but just, just much, they left a bigger impression than the, the ones that have not been so bad. But shout out to the ones that have been cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, um, back to, back to this. But my point is like online dating, you just don't know what you're going to get. So you know, one, the first hurdle to get over is when they get in this house, they had to see is the physical, okay, all right, bet, we can get past the physical. Now they're trying to figure out if they're actually compatible, right? And some of these people, some of these people are wild, okay? Um, the conversations that happen around the house are gonna cause the problems, okay? Like I said, uh, people chiming in when they, this is not your business, you know, airing their grievances and stuff like it's just way too much. So Tamaranda so comes and tells them that the friends and family are coming to meet their people or whatever. So people start coming in. I don't have anything like really memorable about anybody coming just yet. But what stands out to me from the last episode was uh, Aaron was that is it Aaron? Yeah, Aaron sucked Diamond's toes. Now, listen. I don't care how cute a person's feet are. Like, 
it's still feet and he was like oh my goodness I, Aaron 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 I was like oh my god he put he, he swallowed her foot okay she enjoyed it though but uh, no thank you it's feet I don't, I'm not a feet person so uh moving right right past that um <laughs> Brandon and Sienna got into it because Millie uh, was the person that Brandon to was talking to, right? About, I guess, about her. But she never really got to hear what he said. At least we didn't see her hear it because he really couldn't, the way they put it together, he really couldn't get a word out. But this is not going to go anywhere because, like I said, she does not respect Boo. She doesn't respect him. And he is not feeling her like that because he has been disrespected. So. It's a wrap on that, okay? But which couples are real? Which couples are going to make it? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. But how do you feel about this show compared to Ready to Love, Make a Move, right? That was the filler show last time. While we're waiting for another season of Ready to Love, how do you feel about this show compared to Ready to Love, Make a Move? How do you feel about this show? Like, do you like this show? Is it giving? Uh, Y'all going to have to get in the comments below and let me know what else is going on with this show because... I just don't know. Um, and, and as far as how I feel about it, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I think it's interesting how it started off and what they're choosing to air. So, you know, I guess we're going to see how it plays out because this is only episode three. But anyway, thank y'all for watching this video. I will be back with another one very, very soon. Get in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.